right, so what's going on everyone? Aaron here, and thanks for checking out another tutorial. I haven't done one in a while, but Filmora Pro just released their masking tool, so I kind of wanted to go over it. Hopefully this camera's working. I'm in my office. I'm using some new software, so we'll see how this goes. But basically what I want to do is, uh, let me get rid of my face here, is uh, show you how to use Filmora Pro to do a masking so you can do something like this. Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for coming by and checking out today's video. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so this is how we're gonna do it. So we got our clip imported. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence. I know you know how to import stuff. So what we wanna do first, we wanna write our text. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our screen anywhere and write our text and say text. Real simple stuff. Then you can go and you can highlight it if you would like and you can adjust your fonts and everything um, for your final um, project. So then what you want to do is you want to center your your uh, your text. Now I ought to get this text right to where my hand is going to come up and wipe it away. So what I'm going to do is go back to this text bring it right up here and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a mask so you want to make sure that you go um, normally this is a rectangle right here in between your uh, selection tool and your text so you want to just right uh, left click and hold on that and go to freehand mask and you want to then just make some points on here to make that go away and uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that mask to the other side here um, because I want this to make it disappear like that so this is how the masking is going to work so once you have your mask up you can adjust it however you need to and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to masking under controls here you're going to transform and you're going to hit position make sure you do that that's going to start your anchor points and then as I move forward with my hand, I'm going to just drag this over and it's making keyframes each time. And then it's gone. So when you're doing the video, play it back. Let me get rid of this. So All it gets right. the text out of there and it's that swiping motion. You can do it with revealing or hiding text. And like I said, it's pretty easy. Your main tools are the masking tool freehand or you can do rectangle or eclipse and then whatever text you want or whatever image you want to have to move out of there and uh first let me get rid of this that's All pretty right. much it not much to it uh hope that helps you guys and uh let me know in the comments below sorry this one was kind of rushed but there's not a lot to it and i really want to just get down to the bare bones of it i don't want to drag it out um, as creators, I know you're going to play around with the different settings. You can smooth things in, smooth things out, all that stuff. I'm not going to get into that here. I just wanted to show you how to use the basic concept of masking. So if you have a skateboard shot and your skateboard's going across the screen, as it goes by, it could say episode whatever. You see it in a lot of the vloggers that do uh, their stuff out there. Um, you know, Casey, Peter McKinney, uh, a lot of the other guys that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. And uh, because I should be home and it's late, I got to get out of the office. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.